Okay, in this video, we'll be taking a look at Synology DS218 Plus. In the data sheet, it states that memory can be expandable up to 6GB. We are going to try what happens if we put two sticks of 8GB memory for a total of 16GB. These are the two sticks of memory you'll be using from Micron. Let's uh, start disassembling the case. We'll remove the hard disk base. And then remove the fan grill by unscrewing the four screws. There's a one another screw at the bottom. We will remove that as well. Okay, on this there'll be two clips here to so push the clips out and slide the top case and it will slide apart. So we remove the black clip holding the fan. Then remove the fan header as well. Then remove this metal bracket. Next, there's four screws holding out the motherboard to the case. So we'll remove the four screws. Okay, next we'll be wriggling the motherboard out. So watch for the USB port from that side and on the other side just wriggle it out and it should dislodge from the casing okay there are four screws that we will be removing these are the four screws holding the motherboard to the metal chassis okay once that's removed watch the PCIe slot that's holding the SATA connectors and there you have it so that's the two uh, memory sodium slots so once you push the two clips apart, the RAM would slide up. So to insert the new memory, you insert it from an angle. And once it's fully in, you can uh, press it down. So when the two side clips are snug, then we are good. Okay, so now we can uh, reassemble the case. So first we will put it back to the metal chassis, align the PCIe slot. Then we will put back the four screws holding down the motherboard to the metal chassis. We we'll flip it around. Next we will put it back into the case. So let's make sure the ports connectors are aligned. Then let's make sure the ports are aligned to the plastic case okay we can pull back the four screws that is securing the motherboard to the external case just uh, tighten it to snug because if it's loose the case will rattle Okay, so you put back the metal piece here. And next you insert back the fan and connect back the connector. Then the black plastic clip holding, securing the fan. Okay, now for the outer case, so we'll Make sure the is the correct orientation, then press it firmly as you slide the case back. So note the two clips will clip back. So if the make sure the edges are all flushed, so that means that the case is is uh, aligned. Next, we will just insert back the hard disk base, and then next for the fan grill, we we'll screw back the four screws. as well as the last square at the bottom. Okay, we are ready to power up the system. So put in the power input as well as the LAN cable and then press the on button. Go to the IP and then log in using your user ID, user ID and password. Go to the control panel. Here we see that the memory is detected, 16 gig. So looking good now.
So next we'll download the Synology Assistant. We're going to launch a memory test just to make sure things are okay. Okay, so we'll click the settings and then enable the memory test and then select the DS server that you want to run the memory test. Then the DS will start rebooting. Okay, so when it's done, the Synology NAS will restart. So this shows that the memory test completed successfully. So I'll conclude this video as a success, as the DSM 7.1 is able to detect 16 gigs of memory. And hopefully all goes well from here.